Yo, 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 my people, what you lot telling me? It's your boy Kazazino back again with another video on the main channel. You feel what I'm saying, yeah? You lot, you lot must be thinking, ah, oh, Kazo, where's the videos? Where's the consistent uploads? I'll tell you lot, if you lot haven't seen my ACS Confessions video on my second channel, the newest video that, that's come out, um, you lot don't know, but I had COVID. Yep, I had COVID. So if any of you are not living under a rock, and you don't know what COVID is. COVID is a bloody virus. It's a, oh, it came last year, 2020. 2020 was one of the most worst years ever, ever. And COVID was, was one of the main reasons why it was just one of the worst years. Some people say it all started with an Asian man eating some bat and then it just spread all over the place, all over the world. But who knows what happened, man, who knows? But yeah, COVID is a deathly, deathly virus. Some people are even dying from it, which is so sad to hear, man. It's so, so sad to hear that people are dying from this virus. So if you don't need to keep safe, just keep safe at all times because there's something out there. Some people may not think it and don't believe in it, but there's something out there, man, a deathly virus. But yeah, let me tell you how I got it. <laughs> As soon as Boris said that the clubs will be open again, me and some of my boys, yeah, we just decided to go, go to, to a club in London. Um, well, no, it's not in London. A club in Hertfordshire, because we were like, oh, clubs are open. Yeah, we have to go. It's a motive. Uh, like, I'm, I'm saying I was missing the clubs for so, so long. It was a whole year without clubs. A whole year. And I like to go clubbing. I like to have a good time, if you know what I'm saying. I would say it was definitely a good night. Definitely. I enjoyed it. It was definitely a good night with the mandem. So I come back and I felt fine the next day. No problems. I felt I felt all good. It was two days later that I went out to the club, yeah? And I don't know what was going on because as soon as I woke up, I just started to feel faint. I had a headache. I'm thinking, what's going on here? The headache was still there. It was just... Uh, it was jarring the headache was so jarring the fainting feeling went after like a few minutes but the headache was still there I, I started to get a cough and I'm thinking no how is this happening what's going on what's going on here the cough wasn't bad at the start let me say that again the cough wasn't bad at the start yeah but uh, it all went left it all went left a few days after that the headache goes away because I was just drinking some water, having some paracetamol, you know, you know, just the, the normal stuff to make the headache go, and the headache go away, you feel what I'm saying? So, the headache goes now, but the cough got even worse. The cough got even worse. I started coughing so, so much. You, you are, oh, it was mad. I'm thinking, no, please don't tell me I got COVID. Please, please don't tell me I got COVID, man. Because, that, like, I'm, right now, I'm staying at um, one of my nan's house. And she's thinking, oh, Cam, you don't have COVID. It should be fine. But, bro, every single day, the cough was getting worse and worse and worse. One of the days, I couldn't taste nothing. One day, I'm thinking, I just I went to the corner shop, yeah, just to get a drink because I, I, I went out. Before I came back in the house, I went to the corner shop and just got, um, I got a Rubicon Guava. That drink is pain. Uh, that's one of my favorite drinks. Tell me why, as soon as I open it and I drink it, I can't taste nothing. I couldn't taste the drink. Nah, it's, it's, it's nothing, this is nothing. Come back to inside my nan's house, go in the kitchen, went to eat some food, I can't taste nothing. I couldn't taste nothing, there was no taste. I'm thinking, what's going on here then? That only lasted for a day. The no taste thing lasted for a day. But the other days, I couldn't smell nothing. So it first started, with a headache, then a minor cough, then the cough got worse, then no taste for a day, and now no smell. I'm thinking, oh, please don't tell me I got COVID from the club. But yeah, that's how it happened. I got COVID as soon as the clubs open, and I go out with Amanda for a motive to the club, that's when I get COVID. Like, I'm thinking, me, why? Why me? Why? Why? Oh my days. And I'm the brother that rarely gets ill. Rarely, it's rare for me to be ill. So I'm thinking, nah, this can't be it. After one day at the club, you gotta be joking. So um, the cough was still getting worse. There was points in time, yeah, where I was coughing so much 
that I was dry heaving. Dry heaving and nothing was coming out. One day, I was coughing so much that I think I was gonna throw up, so I ran to the toilet. Ran, but I was dry heaving and literally nothing came out. It was, it was pain, it was torture, because that is, you can't, you can't breathe when that's happening. It's, it was mad, I'm thinking, just, just come out of me, get out. I threw up three times from having COVID, and if you know me personally, you know that I have a big appetite and I eat a lot. But since from having COVID, my appetite went. I wasn't eating at all. I wasn't eating at all. I had COVID for about two weeks. Two weeks, and those two weeks were hell. Hell, they were hell. I'm telling you. Oh, but shout out to my nan. She just made me so, so many ginger tea, so many um, lemon teas, like concoctions of things. And I'm, I just shout out to you, you know, for looking after me. But obviously I had to, I had to stay away from her because I don't want to give her COVID. And so I had to be six, six feet away and um, yeah, every day she was just giving me mint teas and stuff just to to ease the cough because she could hear that I was coughing so, so much. Literally, I, I felt like I was dying. It was that bad. I felt like I was dying, bro. Every two seconds I needed to cough. I would just feel a tickle in my throat and I would, I would need to cough. It's like I could breathe in two times and then cough. A coughing fit. It was mad. Oh my days. But there was one day, yeah where I had a bit of food, didn't really have that much. My nan gave me a tea, a mint tea, had that, drank it all, and then obviously made my food digest and all that. And I just decided to, um, <laughs> I decided to have some water because there was water next to my bed. And I decided to drink that. And yeah, this is when it all went left. It all went left. Boy, listen. A few minutes later, yeah, I just, I just feel like my stomach was, was moving mad. Every day, my stomach was just move, just gurgling, moving mad. I had, to, I had to like sit on my side like this because I just felt like I was going to throw up all the time. It was, when I tell you it was pain, it was so much pain. So you lot, trust me when I say this, stay safe. Stay safe, you don't want it. I swear, I swear, you don't want it, you don't. But like I said, I needed to sit on my side, like sit up, because whenever I laid down, I felt like I was gonna throw up. After I had the water, I was feeling fine for a few minutes. And then I told you, the stomach, I got up, I saw the toilet door open, yeah? And then all I feel is <gasps> So I rushed to the toilet, closed the door, and I'm throwing up in the toilet, bro. Throwing up bad. I was, I threw up so much, it was mad. <laughs> I don't think, my nan, my nan didn't even hear nothing. She didn't even hear nothing. But I, I threw up so much that day. Oh my days, as soon as I had that water, that was a big mistake. You don't even know, bro. It was a big mistake. I threw up and then after that, I felt fine. Um, obviously brushed my teeth all that and I went back in the room to sleep because uh, I just couldn't, couldn't take it anymore. Another day, yeah, my nan was saying to me, Cameron, do you smell anything? I said, no, no, I, I can't smell nothing. Because literally, COVID, that's a symptom. No smell. So I couldn't smell nothing. And then she was saying, you've been smoking ganja in my house. I'm thinking, nan, why would I do that? I would never do that. And she's saying, there's, there's some smell that's lingering in your room downstairs. And that was it. It wasn't lingering nowhere else. She said it was lingering in the, in the hallway downstairs and in my room, but nowhere else. And she was saying, it smells like ganja. <laughs> I was thinking, Nan, why would I smoke ganja in your house? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. So I told her, Nan, I wouldn't do that. And then she kept, she had to spray because I, I, I couldn't smell that. I didn't know what the smell was, but she said it was, it was a toxic smell and devilish. But I'm thinking, where, where could it be coming from? Because I'm still, I'm still showering and stuff. So what, 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 what smell is it? I don't know what the smell is, but she was saying it's. She could smell the COVID on me, but it was crazy. I was laughing when she said it smells like ganja. Cause I was, <laughs> I was thinking, what? <laughs> but yeah, she kept spraying it. And one day she just opened the window and the smell just left. She's, that's what she said. As soon as she opened the window one day, the COVID, she said the COVID smell just left. And that was it. She kept giving me more uh, mint teas. I started to get better. I started, my appetite started to um, get back to how it normally is. And yeah, that was it. And how I, 
how I realized I had COVID was I did a PCR test. I did a home PCR test and I put it in the one of the priority post boxes. But please, but tell me why I had to wait, wait? I had to wait like eight days for me to get the results. They said, oh, you, by after two days, you have your results by email. I still didn't have it after two days. I was checking my emails every day and nothing. But there was a phone number. There was a phone number on the leaflet thing of the PCR test. I called it and I said, oh, I done my test a week ago and I still haven't got my results. What happened? I gave them the reference and everything. And after, after the phone call, they sent me a text message and saying, oh, your results are positive. You have coronavirus. And I'm thinking, raw, okay, wow. Yeah, it was definitely from the club. 100% it was from the club. Because obviously when the clubs were open, there was no social distancing. Everyone, everyone was just crowded. There was like people touching each other. So that was the worst illness I think I've ever had in my life. And I don't know if I'm gonna get the vaccinations because I'm, I'm still quite skeptical of it, of like the side effects and stuff. But I might. I don't know yet. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But right now I'm just laying low, keeping safe because I do not want to get that again. Hell no. No way. You're mad if I want to get that again. But um, yeah, like I said before, my people, keep safe at all times. There's something out there. It's killing people. And yeah, once you have it, it's a mad thing. I can't lie. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, my people. I'm back. I'm fully recovered. I'm better. So now I can be consistent on both my channels. So yeah, you lot will see me in the next one. And before I, before I go, Subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my second channel, Living Like Kazo. Follow me on all the socials, and yeah, you look, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.